Yo guys, Gluten-Free EDC here. I'm Brian, your gluten-sensitive representative. Today I've got an unboxing of a pretty cool knife by way of Devo Knives. I'm in a cool little pass-around group. So thank you to everyone that's a part of that. Got the dapper design, cool little click folder thing as usual as my unboxing knife because it's awesome. So today, like I said, Devo knives. And should say, yep, on the back, Growler Blackwash 154 CM. So much like CPM 154, 154 cm is the ingot version so pretty similar uh great steel honestly cpm 154 is just a little more because it's a powder metallurgy it's a little finer grain structure more consistent grain structure oh and white g10 right so let's dive on in so they included this cool 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 i think this is like more just for the pass around group let's see okay that is cool looking in white g10 wow that's actually really cool looking and it feels great for g10 uh yeah that's that's what's up super easy to get in and out of the box we're gonna clear it out of the way for now so right off the bat You've got the white G10, you've got blackened, I'm not sure if it's titanium or steel. Let's check real quick. Uh, I'm going to assume that all the hardware is in fact steel. It's a steel liner though, so that could just be throwing it off. Eh, it's a steel backspacer. I'm going to go ahead and assume that it's all steel. So really cool. You've got the bent over wire clip, which honestly, it's it's hard to beat. They're just so good. I love a wire clip. Like a good wire clip is fantastic. You've got a cutout for the lanyard for you lanyard folk. Cool. I'll throw a lanyard on a fixed blade. Uh, not my folders typically and then you've got really cool so you have the devo knives logo on there in the pivot with some circles going on there i think that's really cool especially with the black it's pretty subtle so i i dig that Ooh, the detent on this thing is really good for being a pass around knife i thought maybe it'd be a little rougher around the edges wow wow okay uh this is fantastic so detent wise it's a more stiff detent but i think because it's a knife that you're going to be opening with your middle finger i think that's preferable especially with the thumb you usually need a pretty stout detent yeah stout i guess i'm thinking other devo knives but yeah, the stiffer the D10, I think the better for thumb opening typically. So it works really well, especially for that middle finger flake. It's super snappy. Barely, I barely have to shake it shut and it goes home. You've got jimping all along the spine of the blade. That's really cool to see. So when you open it, you know, choked back here, your thumb falls right on there, you still have jimping, you choke up into the forward finger choil that Devo Knives is definitely known for. They definitely love their finger choils I'll incorporated into the blade, I think. I think that's really a good idea because then it gets you a little more precise with holding it with your, you know, standard grip, and then you can choke up, really have some Ability to put your thumb further on the blade, really get in a little more detailed work. 
really cool blade on this. It's a huge, huge blade. Uh, I knew it was a longer blade, but I, I wasn't ready for the height of the blade. Really cool though. So you can see it looks like we have a hollow grind down here, a flat that leads into this opening, the opening hole. It's a cool, unique opening hole, I think. And then the swedge right here, really cool. The plunge grind is really, really well executed. I like seeing that actually a lot. I think they did that really well. I think that kind of lends itself to, you know, they made this, I believe this is under $100. I'm not quite certain where it sits, but they made this knife specifically, I believe, as more of a budget realm kind of knife. So having a good plunge grind is important because hopefully you're going to be using this knife, putting it through its paces, and sharpening shouldn't be an issue at all. Really cool. A lot of belly to it, right? So like I said, it's that tall blade. But because of that hollow grind then, you get pretty thin behind the edge. Thin enough that this is going to be a fantastic slicer, I would imagine. Really cool. The tip is fairly robust because of how this is designed. So it's kind of a drop point blade, kind of like a sheep's footy blade. Really cool. Really cool. But yeah, that lends itself to having the tip be fairly robust. I like to see that. So all the hardware is blackened. I know I was going over that, if it was steel or not. So all the hardware is blackened. The clip is reversible, which is big, especially Devo knives. You know, you've got Kev over at Lefty EDC as one of the two people behind Devo knives, along with Colin. So he's a lefty, obviously, given Lefty EDC. So it makes sense that many of their knives would be reversible. Cool to see that. Just another flick. Really cool. So let's have a quick size comparison for you guys. So of course I have to bring the one and only Devo Knives Mash. This is a really cool knife. I believe I have a video up already on that guy. If not, I will shortly. But you can see very similar blade length. I believe these are 3.25 inch blades. Very similar overall length as well. Let me see. Do I have a ruler? Yes, I do. Let's just get a quick take on that. We've got, yep, three and a quarter. About seven and a, mm, just shy of seven and a half overall length. Yeah, perfect. It's a perfect blade. Devo Knives is killing it. I love the mash. The mash, in comparison, the mash that I have is definitely a softer detent. Still wildly snappy, though. And we'll throw in another knife. A knife that I had that was three and a quarter inches. The Quiet Carry Waypoint. Bit more expensive than these guys, but still fantastic. Yeah, so there it is. You can see the blade is definitely... A taller blade I think it'll just be a very useful blade you could really just dig in with that tip you can really just slice through cleanly kind of have that angle when you do so right so a lot of meat to get on before your finger touches which is nice even in that forward finger choil so I think that's pretty cool and then if you go all the way back a lot of that blade's gonna hit, yeah, before your fingers do, even your or your knuckles do. So really cool. I like the design on this one. They've got a chamfer going on around the entirety of the scales, so that helps it just feel good in hand. Ergos wise, you have kind of a small dip down here where your thumb's gonna go. 
shoots back up ever so slightly and then down so it feels really good in the hand this ergonomically is a home run this is one of the more comfortable budget knives i've ever handled actually it's really good in the hand it locks you in it's got indexing points so you have these two choils for your fingers in the choked up position it fits like a glove i have smaller hands right medium sized glove on the smaller side it's perfect i know people with extra large gloves or hands that fit extra large gloves and it fits their hand perfectly i think this knife is gonna kind of fit everybody and the ergos on it are fantastic. I don't think that should be a small thing to say. To hit with the design on a budget knife with such good ergos, that's really, really cool to see. I like seeing that. Now, of course, I'm a bit biased. I think Kev's a great dude over at Devo Knives. I consider him a friend. But the dude's killing it over there. This is a fantastic knife. You can see it's a nested liner. So you've got that nested into the scale itself. That's really cool. Let's see, is there any milling? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tons of milling. Not sure if... Yeah, oh, yeah, you could make it out ever so slightly. Thanks to the white popping through. And it's on either side. Um, yeah, there you can see. Really cool. So it's fairly light for what it is it's a big blade it's almost surprising how light it is that's the g10 helping out that's the milling those pockets out in the liners and still having a backspacer everything's steel yeah this is really cool i think as far as steel choice perfect 154 cm is what's up guys like i like seeing that a lot yeah this is this is a great knife i i love this knife sick so I'll go ahead and send it along in that pass around group. I'm really excited to have been able to check it out. I'm going to ask if I can carry it around a little bit, uh, do anything with it before I send it off. But yeah, fantastic knife. If you guys are able to get one, I would highly recommend it. I know they sell their knives all over the place. A lot of retailers carry their knives awesome and for more information on that you know you can always reach out to lefty edc he's always got a ton of information for you guys and he's super active in the community but there it is guys the devo knives growler i hope you've enjoyed take care